It's the largest living organism on Earth, and it's under threat. There are hundreds of different types of coral in this 2,300 kilometre long reef, but in recent years, around 30% has been lost. We've had significant bleaching events in 2016 and in 2017 as we reefs around the world and the Great Barrier Reef is no different deal with heat stress. We've also seen Cyclone Debbie and we've seen the insidious impact of the Crown of Thorns starfish. So the bulk of the money will go towards improving water quality. This is what the World Heritage Committee told us was a priority. Along with rising sea temperatures and starfish, Pesticides used by farmers and water pollution have also helped kill coral, turning the once colourful marine life white and calcified. The additional cash from Canberra aims to tackle the problems by helping farmers change their practices and also funding research into how coral can become more resilient. And it's been welcomed by some scientists. Today's announcement represents a great weekend for science in Australia and it is also important for innovation in Australia for the benefit of all Australians. But others are not so convinced. Greenpeace says what's really needed is to cut carbon emissions to tackle climate change. And when it comes to greenhouse gases, the UN's Climate Change Authority says per capita, Australia is among the highest in the world. Paul Taylor, TRT World.